me fire, give me double to the Welcome back to Wind Tunnel TV, and tonight it's the North South Racing League, and we've got a good one for you tonight. The high high limit, 125. I'm Dean Newsett, joined as always by Mr. Baron Labosco and Mr. Colin J. Kennedy, special guest in here. Baron, we're down at Vegas. The high limit, 125. Rolling the dice here, the bull ring. Of course, this is where uh, Kurt and Kyle Busch cut their teeth in uh, late model racing tonight. Uh, the boys and girls from uh, the North South Racing League are going to visit it. Uh, 125 uh, packed laps of fun. Uh, Dean, uh, Vegas uh, is good for hangovers and uh, lost wages. Uh, so tonight, hopefully, one of these guys capitalizes on both. Yeah, absolutely. Vegas can be very destructive to the system, as I can account for firsthand. Colin, what do you think out here? You got a lot of experience here on the bull ring. Is it destruction for some, success for others? Man, this is this distracts its own beast. Um, in supers <laughs> and in late models, super late models especially, it's it's hard to get back to gas here. Super flat. Um, not a lot of banking. Walls come at you quick. It's it's a tough track. It's just Staying in your rhythm, keeping off, keeping it off the walls, and making sure you keep the opponents or your anybody around you uh, off of each other because it's 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 a tight track. It's easy to get in get into each other. So one of the things I noticed about the track design, Colin, if you could comment a little bit on it, um, I've not run here, but that track design that you're looking at, um, not exactly a paper clip like you would have a Martinsville, not exactly a D-shaped oval like you would see at, say, one of our mile and a halves. Uh, this is just you know, its own unique beast, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's weird. Uh, the front stretch is straight and the back stretch is curved. Um, you have to exit the corners differently on both sides of the track. Uh you want to be right up against that wall and off a of turn two and heading into turn three to get the best entry you can get to get that exit. And then that wall off a of turn four comes quick, especially whenever you get loose. Yeah, it's going to be a good one here tonight. The weather looking good. Uh, not too hot a track. Still sunlight out here. Should be fairly grippy, but could see some of these guys starting to get loose. Let's get into the point situation. Blaze Brinkley out there with the lead. He got a 12-point lead over Dustin Shepard. Brian Hacker fell down into third. It's Gary Esch in fourth. He's been remarkably consistent. Randy Nichols got himself a win. He's sitting in fifth. Then it's Stump. Ryan Johnson, Ryan Joyner, Austin, and Gebel, your top 10. Baron, what do you think about these guys in the points here? We're starting to get through some of these races into race five. Uh, how, how are we sitting if we're in ninth, 10th, eighth? Uh, these guys got to make a move. They got to start taking risks. Yeah, it would appear that uh, fifth through 10th uh, here uh, really need to uh, create their own luck as we move through the season. So uh, not without... Uh, not without promise, they can still uh, achieve the points lead, but they're going to have to have a little bit of magic moving forward here. And uh, and here at Vegas, uh, it might be the track for some of these guys. Uh, as you notice, 6th uh, through 10th, uh, really just uh, five points apart. So anything can happen here tonight. Yeah, and each and every position, always important to these guys, bragging rights and everything, as qualifying is going on right now. And, of course, this great race brought to you by RC2 Promotions, an iRacing special event organizer that can help manage your special events. They offer quality consulting, event planning, promotion, full service management for very competitive prices. Always happy to have these great sponsors on here. And right now, the LCQ about to get going as qualifying has wrapped up. So the top 26 locked in. We're going to do a redraw after this to see where our top eight are going to actually start. They have to draw for it. Going to be a little random. And uh, we'll see. But right now, it's the LCQ. Uh, Wachowski on the point. Clayton Smith, Keeler, Clavy, Klein, Suss. Lover Ridge and Colton Smith will be your eight drivers competing. 
So uh, eight drivers competing for four spots and uh, in the LCQ, a uh, tight little track here. Uh, so uh, Colin, uh, God forbid you start back there with Shane Loveridge. Um, uh, what's your uh, what's your strategy? Uh, get to that inside as soon as possible. I'm not gonna lie, the outside here is not the best. Uh, your best bet is maybe get a couple of picks early, and then you just gotta you just gotta start working it, figuring out figuring out something different. It's not gonna be easy passing here. It's a lot like uh, Martinsville because it's so tight. It's all about getting up under somebody and completing the pass. So it's gonna be difficult, but you just you just have to try some different things. And Dean, we've seen these uh, LCQs. Uh... Uh, calamity can happen and uh, sometimes it goes green and sometimes uh, you know they can't get out of each other's way uh, yeah we, we've feel seen it tonight. even when it wasn't important baron you've seen third and fourth take each other out from transfer spots so anything can happen yeah that's true looking forward to though dean uh, bullring good uh, good little track absolutely here we go folks Wukowski and Smith up front we got to get a good flag. start green flag down and away here in the high stakes 150 great side-by-side -side racing right now the high line uh, trying to hold on the best they can but as Colin said that low line is going to be the preferred lane good start for our top four battle a little further back sus trying to make a move here that's Klein down on the bottom in the 76 I think he's going to make this move, and he's going to try and get up to Clavy in that 73. So we saw uh, Loveridge, like, actually tracking the white line on the bottom. I hope his car's, his car's all right. So the, a climb does take that spot. Now in a transfer spot, Loveridge way back at the back here. He's got a ton of work to do. Right now, status quo, everybody lined up, 12 to go, and the transfer spot, what's most important. I mean, I can't believe Clavy gave it up that easy. Yeah, Klein's got to stay on the bottom. He's got to, he's got to defend. This is going to be, there's a lot of hungry drivers behind him. All he needs to do is just keep it down there on the bottom, no mistakes, and keep his nose clean. Looks like we got someone in the red car here down on the bottom crazy line some of them are drawing that's clayton smith or i thought it was a lap car out there but that's clayton smith in second seemingly yeah. slow driving really low on the track i mean that is hyper protecting the low line and you see the 08 just roll in on them there yeah uh i mean you talk about protecting the low line uh colin i mean that's <laughs> yeah, that's 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 protecting pretty well that's max protection right there that's pf50 yeah, that's gonna be hard to even. That's gonna be hard to even pass right there. Because if he gets back to the gas, he, he might run right in the back of him. He's actually daring them to pass him on the high line, isn't he? Yeah, I would take that dare, uh, Baron. I would jump out there on the outside of him and make him pinch that thing off the corner and see how he responds to it. That was a little more traditional line out of him there, out of the 42. But you're right. I mean, that is max protect. So Clavin back in this thing for that transfer spot, back in fifth. He's chasing the 76, but he gave it up early. I mean, I just don't know if he's got time to get up here as the 76 pulls up on Keeler. Well, I mean, everybody's being held up by the 42 right now. They just don't know what to do with him. They don't. And they're running out of time. Six, five laps to go now. I mean, I like the strategy, but, uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's going to be a difficult pass. I don't, I, it's, it's, it's a great line of defense, but he's, he's wearing that right side out. I think it's going to be good, though. It's only a certain amount of, it's only 15 laps, so I think he'll be fine, but he just better not slip up or hit the apron. Yeah, I mean, uh, he's fine as long as he doesn't get wrecked doing that. I mean, you know, he's got a three-car buffer here, but Clavy back here in fifth, he's got to do something here. We're on three to go, and there, a little pushes out, a little high off exit. That'll cost him. I don't know if he's got anything to get by Klein or Keeler. Yeah, it looks like it's slow going for him right now. The thing I'm watching is the 08 charges that corner. Keeler actually uh, almost uh, systematically almost gets into the 42. Oh, on it. Got a wreck. There it is, leverage around. Will the caution come out? Final lap. It 
doesn't look like there's any caution. So Wachowski going to come home and win the LCQ. Clayton Smith second. It's Klein, Keeler, and Clavy, Clavy, sorry, racing here for the transfer spot. It's over, folks. Status quo at the line. Oh, oh. Clavy, very unhappy with the situation, <laughs> has decided to check out. He grenades. My goodness. That seemed a little extreme. And apparently he did, uh, had enough of the bull ring. <laughs> put, put, put a grenade in it, pulled the pin. My goodness. I mean, uh, someone please make sure he's all right. So now we're going to head on over. We're going to start this redraw from our top eight. Going to be interesting to see how that goes. Last week, if you recall, Baron, we had some real crystal ball appearances. Uh, it seemed everybody could call their shot. And they did. Uh, you know, this uh, blind draw, it, it would almost seem as though it wasn't blind because our, our first pick last week pulled off the pole position. So let's see if we can do it again, Dean. That was fun. It definitely was fun as we're just getting everybody situated here coming into the booth. It's going to be a, a great thing here to see who can grab this pole here tonight. Colin, what do you think about this redraw event? Is this something that you've uh, ever experienced before? I've never seen something like this. This is, uh, this is something different. I mean, I like it, though. Uh, it's not the same guy will always start up front, so uh, even if you do qualify first, it's something that you can still start eight. I mean, it's just, it'll show whose car is truly the best under passing, under managing your tires, all the above. So I actually like this, but I've never seen it before. All right, we bring in Justin Grosser into the booth here. Justin, how are we doing this evening? I'm doing great, man. How are you guys? Well, we're doing fantastic up here. Looking forward to this redraw almost as much as the race. I mean, these guys are down in Vegas. They got a shot at a slot machine here, Justin. Who we got coming in to try out our own personal slot machine here? Uh, first up's going to be the 57 quick time tonight, uh, Ryan Joyner. What up, boy? <laughs> Ryan Joyner. Oh my guy. Going hard early. I like it. You Bring sound like you're energy. feeling you sound like you're feeling good. Are you feeling maybe too good, Ryan? I'm feeling froggy. Wow, I, I don't know, Baron. What's froggy? I mean, that means he's not um, over the legal limit. That's what we're going to go with right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair enough. Ryan, clean board. You were fastest here in qualifying. You got the fresh numbers last week. The qualifier picked the poll. Can you do it here this evening? Go with number four. Number four all day, all day. Number four here at Vegas. I don't even know for drawing yet, but I'm going number four. You did, you are, and it is not good, my friend. I'm sorry. Eighth place will be your starting <laughs> position here this evening. Big energy, bad result. Man, I don't even think he answered. You, you're going straight for another drink, I think, there, Ryan. <laughs> I don't well, blame I mean, you. I, I wish I was drinking. I'm, I'm only 18, so I can't do that yet. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. So he is Legal drinking, froggy. folks. He's just not telling anybody. He did, he did take Froggy, and he's jumping right back to eight. So. <laughs> All <laughs> right, Justin. Good luck to you. Justin, who we got up next? Up next, we got the zero two, Brian Hacker. Brian Hacker. How we doing tonight, Brian? How we feeling about the old bull ring? Uh, doing pretty good, gentlemen. Hoping to uh, keep it clean and make sure old Gary Eshin doesn't right rear us this week. Oh, shots Ooh. fired here <laughs> in Vegas. I mean, I don't know. Like, can he carry weapons down in Vegas? Are you allowed to <laughs> shoot like that? Oh, he knows. He saw me in his ring doorbell the other night. Wow. Oh, this last, is last, time, last time shots <laughs> were fired in Vegas, we lost Tupac, let me just say. <laughs> this is getting crazy, folks. Got him on the ring doorbell camera, peeking in, saying, I see you. Gary, you can see Gary. Can you see your future here? One through three, five through eight. What you got for us? Two's on the side of the car, and the two's going to pull the pull tonight. All right. He's calling his shot, folks. Bam! Oh. Called his shot. Got it. Pull. Here we go. Boom, shakalaka. So the hacker down in Vegas trying to hack these machines gets the pole. Apparently he hacked our system and uh, did a great job. Hey, good luck out there, Brian. And, you know, try not to shoot anybody. 
Oh, no. I mean, I, I am over the legal limit, but I'll, I'll hold on to it. <laughs> All right. All right, Justin, who's up? Uh, 38, uh, Ryan Johnson. Ryan Johnson. All right, Ryan. What do you think? Down in Vegas. I mean, we got shots fired already. How you feeling? Uh, not as froggy as some people, I guess. Well, you, you might want to get on that from what I'm hearing uh, in here. But, uh, you know, we got the draw. How, how's the luck been lately? Are you, are you feeling lucky? Uh, last two races have gone a little bit better, so I'm, I'm hoping. Hoping, not feeling. Baron, what do you think about this? Well, you know, hope is not a strategy. Feeling is. Okay. I, li I like it. That sounds like touching, though. Feeling and touching. A little different. You but... married? Are you married? I don't know. You're not married? No. Is that girlfriend? Yes. Okay, so at least you're not touching yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. One, three, five through eight. Let's have it. Well, three has been my number in the past. It's brought me some good stuff. I'm hoping we got something tonight. All right, hopeful. Three for three. There you I'll go. I'll take it. Yep, that's fair. That's where you qualified. That's where you start. We look for good things from you tonight. Good luck. Appreciate it, guys. All right, Justin. Justin, who uh, we got next up? up? Yeah, sorry. Next up, we got uh, 75, Mike Alexander. Mike Alexander. Mike, up there, quick in practice, uh, quick in qualifying. How you liking the bull ring? Uh, I've always liked it here. I don't know. I'm still trying to get used to these cars. The, there seems to be a big tire saving epidemic going on here that I've seemed to miss the boat oh, on. Boy. So I'm just still, still trying to figure that out. An epidemic? Like, is there a vaccine for that or? <laughs> the oh, the, the, oh, I get it mixed up. <laughs> you know? what, what are you going to do? So an epidemic out here of tire saving. I'm not sure what I think about that. But it'd be interesting to hear you say that and see how you drive tonight, Mike. I got faith in your driving. I don't know if I got faith in your ability to pick a number. How are you feeling about it? Uh, I mean, I guess uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll probably pick uh, probably pick seven on my luck. So, but uh, anyway, I'll take eight. Take eight. Not too confident here, folks. Let's see. He's going to take number two. All right, oh, Mike. I'll pick that. You jumped a couple of spots up, man. You got to feel good. Early movement in the race. Good luck tonight. Thanks a lot. Make it nice pick. Absolutely. Okay, Justin, who we got? Uh, next up, 91 out of uh, Elkhorn, Wisconsin, Adam Gable. All right, Adam. How are we feeling tonight? Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. Okay, not too good, not overexerting here early. How are you feeling about this track? You feel like long run's going to do it, short run's going to do it? Uh, my way races have been lately. Uh, I think a short run will probably do it tonight. All right, so we're going to need a little track position here, perhaps. Uh, as long as there's not the guys don't wreck, you know, cautions, it's hard to move forward. So give us a pull. One, five, six, or seven. I'll pick one because maybe the 91 will be sitting in first tonight. <laughs> okay, here we go, folks. Number one will give you number five on the grid. I'll take it. All right, best of luck to you out there. Justin, let's keep him going here. Next up, we got the number uh, two first time redraw, uh, Dan Jan Janin. Dan Jan Janin, first time up here tonight. How are we feeling about this one, Dan? Oh, dude, I don't belong here, but I'm here. You absolutely belong here. We've been impressed with your race and you've been doing a hell of a job. You're here. That means you deserve to be here. You earned the right. How are you feeling about the race here? You, you think you can get this thing through these 150 laps here tonight and get yourself a good finish? Well, if a magician could pull a rabbit off a hat, I can keep on pulling laps out of my ass. I'll try. All right. All right. Just don't play with the Tigers. It didn't work out for Siegfried and Roy down in Vegas. So. 10-4 on that. I'm surrounded by lions, though. All right. Surrounded by lines. You got five, six, or seven. What do you like? Seven. We're in Vegas. So you know it. I can't believe nobody picked it yet in Vegas. Rolling the number seven. And it'll get you number seven, unfortunately. So you're still up here in the top eight. You know, great starting spot. I wish you the best of luck here tonight, Dan. Thanks. I'm going to need it. 
<laughs> okay. A little bit dejected there, the thanks, but <laughs> I've raced against Dan before. I've never heard him that down. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be all right. You're looking for something a little better. So we got number four and number six left. Dan, who else we got? Or uh, oh, Justin. Next up we got the eighty nine, Dustin Shepherd. Dustin for Dust Dustin Justin for Dustin. Dustin Shepherd. Okay, Dustin. How are we feeling about uh, tonight's festivities here at the Bull Ring? Pretty good. Uh, so I'm, I'm pretty quick. So if, if I can keep the tires on, on it, uh, should be pretty good. All right, man. Let's hop right to it. You got you got fourth and six. You can shoot for. I mean, you definitely want to get that fourth. What do you think it's hiding behind? Five or six? Uh, let's go with five. Five. It is. Let's roll the dice and see what happens. Unfortunately, that's going to be a no. So sorry about that one, man. But you can make it up on the track. You know, it wouldn't oh, yeah. take long. And uh, keep her clean, man. Keep your stick on the ice, as us Canadians like to say. Damn Dustin, good. Dustin, I always pick the wrong line at the shopping checkout, too. I mean, I, <laughs> I think it's going to go fast, and I just jump in the one where the lady wants coupons. Or, or on the interstate. You know, the interstate's the same way. I always jump in the wrong line when there's traffic. Yeah, you me know. too. <laughs> Best of luck to you tonight, brother. Yeah, thanks. All right, and finally we bring up, I believe, Matt, Matt Cook. Matt Cook. I think he's another first-time redraw. All right, Matt, obviously you're going to be starting fourth here tonight. That's not too bad at all. Seeing how you qualified in eighth, you got to be pretty pleased about it. Yeah, that's that's awesome. I, I'll tell you what, it's going to kill my hard charger. I've been kind of gaining ground off <laughs> the last couple of weeks. Yeah, no kidding about that. But, hey, how's it going to feel being up here not having to charge and maybe playing a little bit more of a protector and starting on the outside? What do you think about that? Well, uh, I'm excited to be up there and race with these fast guys. You know, there's a lot of good racers out here. And starting the outside is going to be tough. If I first gap I get, I'll be headed down to the bottom and we'll see what happens. All right, we'll go get him, Matt. We, I've raced you before. I think you're a hell of a racer. So we'll be rooting for me from the booth, man. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. All right. All right. That was tonight's redraw here. Very interesting. It always is. And uh, Baron, I mean, Vegas pulling the slot machines here tonight. Yeah, and a lot of guys uh, pulling uh, good choices and bad. Uh, listen, no matter where these guys line up, they all got a shot here in the top eight. So it's going to be interesting to see which one of them's uh, got the magic tonight uh, to uh, get it into victory lane. Now, Colin, we probably already touched on a little bit, though, but why don't we run into the keys again to this track here? We're coming up. We're going to flip it over right now. What, what do you think here? Has it got to be just low line, or can we get something done on the high side? Yeah, it's going to be low line, no doubt. Um, it's This is not top fed track whatsoever. Um, but being patient is going to be your number one thing tonight. It's, it's, a, it's a small track, uh, close quarters, and it's just going to be a tight race and you just got to you got to keep your emotions down you just got to be patient throughout the race it's just it's the key to winning to this race honestly all right so low line it is these guys here are starting on the high side baron could be uh, it could be a little traumatic for them early on here uh, it would be uh, honestly because there's a lot of cars on this track dean's a small track uh, if you're stuck on the high side right now, you're counting on your spotter to get you down on the bottom. Like Colin said earlier, Colin, you, you said you're going to be a bottom feeder if you came racing here. How soon do you need to be down there? Oh, uh, within the first five laps. Otherwise, you're going to get swallowed up. It's That, that bottom line is going to get is gonna stack up fast, and they're not going to let you in, especially this early in the race. They want to be in that position in front of you. Now, so. Was the LCQ any kind of an indicator? We didn't see much passing on that LCQ. Are we going to see them single file tonight? Yes, that's a no doubt. They're going to be single file majority of this race. You're going to see a couple. Well, that's a good thing with the super late models is there's going to be slip ups and mistakes. That's how you're going to get to the bottom. That's your best bet. Passing is probably going to it's, it's going to come eventually with tire wear and stuff. But at the beginning, it's going to be mess ups, slip ups, hitting the apron, stuff like that. So. Um, but yeah, you just want to get down to that on that bottom as soon as you can. It's gonna it's it's gonna be a a winning factor in this. All right, Reese, getting ready to get going here. You can see your favorite driver here and where they may be starting. We take a look back up towards the top of the field. It's Ryan Joyner, Brian Hacker, Ryan Johnson, Blaze Brinkley, your points leader, starting fourth. 
uh, Alexander and Gebel, Dan Dan and Shepard and Cook and Walgren in your top 10. Race about to get going here. Can't wait. Good looking rides out here tonight, Dean. Yeah, they're always great looking cars. I love the way these uh, late models paint up, man. They're just beautiful out here. Yeah, they sure are. And, uh, Vegas adds a little bit more spice to this uh, to this race, so uh, you can see kind of the the sun setting in the background adds a nice uh, color hue to the palette. Uh, thanks for joining us in YouTube land. If you're watching us uh, on Wind Tunnel TV, we appreciate you having you. Yeah, absolutely. YouTube, Facebook as well. Although we do keep an eye on YouTube a little closer. Here we go, folks. About to start, Hacker and Alexander, ring, ring, ring. Johnson and Cook, green flag drops. Good and clean we'll start up front. And we'll see how quickly we get these guys to the bottom and see what happens here. Someone's still on pit road. They're waiting there. We're seeing a lot of swapping. Someone coming in and out here. I think that's Dustin Shepard maybe having some connection issues. Hard to tell. Well, I think they're brushing uh, the pit road entrance there. They're so low. Yeah, you might be right about that. Oh, big check up there a little further back. As you can tell, already the outside is just losing ground so fast. It's so important to get down to that bottom. Yeah, these guys running very low. Let's give it Three a wide. Three give wide it right. headaches to our tracker here. Our leader, Brian Hacker, in the two. Jumping out front, got a good lead on Ryan Johnson. It's Gebel third. Jan Janin has slipped into fourth. Cook, then Alexander lost one spot. How about Chris Stump? He's made up four in that number 95 machine. Yellow and yellow flag dropping. Looks like the number 20 may be involved. Hoffler. Let's get a look in on this early wreck. Doesn't see like any bad of damage well, right now. Well, three wide off the hop, we noticed. That's not going to work. And uh, so far it is. Four wide. Yeah, that was almost four wide. And now the 14 is punted and put around. But uh, that is a dangerous spot to be in. I mean, three wide call on is bad here. Four wide? Is that possible? <laughs> yeah, it's possible, but it's not going to end well. I can tell you that. But yeah, very minimal damage on all those cars. So it's not going to be a big, big factor right now. And it didn't, right? We got two cars <laughs> and the walls. <laughs> this is a big break for a lot of people that were on the outside. They might have gotten, they might get to the inside here with what position they are, but we'll see. Ryan Joyner may be the beneficiary. I think he started from pit road. Not sure if he'll get a lucky dog or not. I'm not sure he's even a lap down, to be honest with you, but it, he might be. Nobody coming in, though. Yeah, we got one in. Hoffler. And there he is. So Hoffler in the 20 machine coming on to pit road. Yeah, he's probably just trying to extend his run right here. Probably just going to get fuel. Um, so just trying to be a little off strategy. You never know. Sometimes it pays off to be lucky. All right, he's looking a little wrinkly there. That car already aged on the outside. He might be getting the hammer and trying to pound that thing out a little bit, too. Nothing like a block of wood and a hammer. Love it. We'll stay with him here and see if he can beat our leader, Brian Hacker, out. No, there goes Hacker by. So Hoffler going to go a lap down here early. Not uh, the death sentence we used to think it of. Uh, you know, there's a good chance we'll get another caution here. Uh, if he maintains the lucky dog position, he'll get his line back. He'll be back in this thing. Yeah, that's the thing about this track. So small. So when you go in the end of the pits for anything, even if it's just right side tired, you have that chance of going a lap down depending on how far back you are in the field. So you just got to be aware of that. All right. So, so far, it's Chris Stump on the move. The 95 machine up seven spots. Rigsby's up nine, Eastman up six, Eschen's up nine, Josh Cole was up nine. We're not going green. So not we, we had some green. shots fired. What do you think about that uh, comment, Baron? A little shot at Gary Eschen out there. Well, I, my guess is, is they know each other pretty well. They, they're used to giving each other a bunch of crap uh, day in and day out. I'm sure uh, this is just uh, 
you know, one episode in a, in a book of uh, great jabs and practical jokes, Dean. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right, you know. Uh, so I don't think there's a whole lot of drama there. But uh, tracks, these cars, these type of tracks, they can lead to drama. We'll talk more with Colin about some of the things that can happen on this uh, short track racing. As I know he's hyper, uh, you know, <laughs> fixed in on what happens at these short tracks. But right now it's Hacker and Alexander, Johnson and Stump up front, Gebel and Shepard in row three. Green flag, green flag. Hacker, great jump there. We'll see if the 75 can find his way in. Looks like he will. 95 up on the high side. He's stuck there at Stump, who made such great gains. Now looking like he could get freight trained. And Alexander pushed to the high side as Ryan Johnson comes down on the bottom. Yeah, there's just no gaps to get down on right now. It's going to be hard for him to even fight that. Just don't try to wear your tires out too much fighting these guys. See, he's got he's got a little bit of a gap right there. Yeah, it didn't take it. Don't blame him. That would have been a tough that would have been a tough cutoff. Bit of a tight squeeze. Now, if we got four to go, he's taking it. Yeah, there he goes down. And that provides a little check up. They all do a great job. No wrecks. Stump still falling on the outside. He's got to get down. There's just nowhere to go. Flag you down. Oh, and we're on yellow. Something happened towards the back. We got somebody in pit road, too. You see the 11, J.D. Callahan. He won earlier in the year, if I'm not mistaken. He was in trouble. And Keeler, let's get a look in on it. So here's Keeler in the 08 machine, that purple car on the top. All looks okay. The corner, everything's still good. Wow, and a oh, big good. dive bomb, but that wasn't it in front of him. The 57. So let's go back here. Then we have a spin farther up, too. Yeah, looks like somebody else got turned around, also. Yeah, there it is. Two, yeah. two incidents in one. Yep, it looks like somebody got helped in the front of this. <laughs> so it looks like these two were just a beating and a bang in here. The 76 and the 57, bang, 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 bang. I mean, shots fired here. And then another, that was a hard hit in the rear end, so. Never mind. I take it back. Help them out there. <laughs> <laughs> a little coercing here uh, as he coerced him to turn that car around. Yeah, Frankie Klein not inclined uh, to uh, let that car pass. <laughs> Not inclined at all. The 14, Jesse Womack hits pit road. Clayton Smith already in. I don't think Clayton Smith has started the race, so he's done for the evening by the looks of it. It should allow someone to get their lap back, though. Whoever was on pit road last time, I think that was Hoffler. I'm not sure if he'll get a wave around or not. Hacker still leading. Ryan Johnson in second. It's Gebel and Alexander. Jan Janin, Eastman, Shepard, Stump, and Eschen. Walgren in the top ten. Walgren, the only guy in the spot where he started. All other in the top nine have moved up, including Gary Eschen up ten spots this evening. So we talked about it. Some comers and goers. Gary Eschen clearly... Uh, on the move, Will Eastman clearly on the move. We've got a uh, Joe Witkowski back uh, in the, up to 12 positions now up front. So, uh, yeah, um, our last uh, chance qualified winner uh, now in 14th spot. And I like what uh, Jan Jannon, he had he didn't have a lot of confidence with him starting in eight. Well, I mean starting in the top eight, but he's been holding his line pretty well. And I mean, the only reason why he's uh, not up front right now. It's just because he couldn't get down the bottom, but he, he held the outside pretty well right there. So, That's so Jan Jannon's had, yeah, he's had some some bad luck this year, though. It seems like as he gets closer to the front, someone gets him. Uh, it's, it's happened a couple races now. Yeah, and it's also common that guys who say they might struggle do very well, so we don't listen to the drivers too much. <laughs> 
You hear it all the time. I don't like this track. Here we go. Hacker seemingly really likes this track. Another great start by him. Eastman trying to move up here on from the outside. Johnson going to hold him off. And now the 91 at Gebel is going to go in and fill that hole. So it's the 13 of Eastman hung up on the outside. He's got a big run. Can he get down? He tries, and he's turned. That was a late effort, and it cost him, and it cost a bunch of drivers. Oh, got the big one in Vegas. <laughs> Ugliness all around. They're not done. Man, just tomfoolery right there. Yeah, definitely some tomfoolery. I'd call it a little bit of malarkey. So these guys going around right now. It's, this is Walgren in the 36 in front of him. Bam, there's action. And you can see there the carnage that comes up. But it's like it's like I said, it's just they're so desperate to get down to that bottom. It's so easy to lose position on the top. So it was just him just trying to get down and just stay in position because you're going to lose so much on the top. So we look here ahead at that yellow car. He tries to dive down. There's just no room there. I mean, he just, you know, he, he had to get down. He was starting to panic about getting down, and he just tried to put it down, try to land the plane where there was no runway here, Baron. Yeah, definitely not. And unfortunately, um, that's what you get with short track racing, uh, desperation, and then, uh, and then we get a stack up. A lot of good cars involved. Definitely. We got a few on pit road. Blaze Brinkley, points leader, hits pit road in the 77. He's down and away. Jan Jannon hits pit road. So a couple of top guys. Walgren's in as well. Now, Colin, you've done a lot of these pit stops here. 150 laps here tonight. How, what do you think about the strategy of pitting here early on? Uh, it's not it's not a bad idea. It's just um, it's kind of early to get tires right here. Honestly, it, at this point, I would have saved enough to where it was just like I come in for fuel and then we'll go from there. It's only 125 laps. So, I mean, pitting right here is not going to be bad. It's just if, if there's another caution that comes in the next 25 to 40 laps and they come in and pit, they're just going to be at such a disadvantage at this point. So um, it's not a not a bad idea just to get off strategy, but. They got to be careful of of another caution and getting just swallowed by these new tires. But we'll see how it is with this track and how uh, short it is and um, and how hard it is to pass around here. Well, Baron, I mean, what do you think first about those comments and second about Colin correcting me here on night one in the booth? I think he's a good study of the sport. I think he understands the value of broadcasting and uh, keep up the good work. Absolutely, yeah. 125 laps, that is absolutely correct. A little bit shorter here. I think I like the early pit stop, but I'm not too sure how it's going to play out in these late models. Anyway, it's Hacker and Stump, Johnson and Eschen, Shepard, Nelms, Alexander, Rigsby. It's Philip Martin and Wachowski. How about Wachowski's up 17 spots now? Yeah, so your LCQ winner there, uh, making the most of his uh, his opportunity, top 10 right now. Unbelieving here. What, what do you think about these LCQs uh, and running them? Do you think that's an advantage at all here? No doubt. It, it, I definitely think it is. Uh, you get a feel for the track, really, in a racing um, view before all these other guys do. So uh, going back green. Oh, down and away for Hacker. He's been impeccable on these restarts so far. The 38 of Ryan Johnson throws it in on the low side underneath Stump. Stump's got to get down. Can't quite do it. Here comes Dustin Shepard. Shepard, a nice run off the corner on the low side. He's looking sharp here. Yeah, and he's uh, got that car rotating nicely down on the bottom, so he's going to make quick work here uh, of that 96 machine, 95 machine, and He's found himself there in third place. Yeah, Ryan just looks like he can get the power down really well off the corner. He's not really fighting it off the corner at all. So um, that might be just because he's taken off some of his entry speed and just getting more exit speed. But a uh, but great, 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 great treasure, I think. Wow, so great, great checkup by Ryan uh, Joyner there. He was going in, almost got pushed into the middle three wide, checked up, saved a big wreck there. 
so Colin, can we talk a little bit more about what you were talking about? Like I love uh, every once in a while uh, we'll get an in-car view of what these drivers are putting into the wheel. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what's happening with that? Uh, yeah, um, just jumping on board. Yeah, Jay, what what Jay's doing right here is awesome. Uh, Gosh, being super track. smooth. It's Wachowski. He was doing so great. Oops. So we'll get back to that in-car uh, camera stuff, but uh, Joe Wachowski up 17 spots, having himself a night, now turning around in front of our leaders, trying to get that thing back point in the right direction from an apparent wreck. Let's get a look in on it. So there he is on the high side. Um, tried to come down, couldn't. Off the exit, all looks well. Comes down and bam, the 87 says, door closed. I mean, the door was wide open, but uh, it was slammed shut in his face there, Baron. You shall not pass. <laughs> there will be no entry. Yeah, that's probably just to do with a lot of frustration. Being stuck on that top just gets you frustrated and just, you get desperate for it. So it, it's just, it's happened, it's happened to me before. It's just one of those things. Yeah, I thought in that case, it would, you know, again, not right from the booth. Don't don't shoot the messenger here. We're just speculating, but I thought he had lots of room. It's just the 87 was, you know, he was determined. You were not coming in here, and uh, yeah, that was that was pretty harsh. But eh, yeah. speculation. Yeah, no doubt. It was definitely one of those. It was it was a desperation for both ones. He wanted the he wanted the position, and. The other guy, he just all he just wanted was to get down. So, but yeah, it was definitely both of them being desperate. Well, I know a little something about being desperate, uh, Baron. It, it can lead to some pretty bad decisions, can it? But no good story started with a salad. <laughs> That's absolutely correct. I swear she was beautiful last night. Poor choices, big results. <laughs> Big might be a word I, I don't want to hear. <laughs> so Brian Hacker out front, Ryan Johnson, Dustin Shepard. It's Rigsby up 13 spots into fourth. Stump in fifth. Ashen's up 13 into sixth. Ryan Joyner, Randy Nichols, Mike Alexander, and Philip Martin make an appearance in the top 10. He's up 10 spots. So Hacker looking to capitalize on his points position tonight. He goes out here and wins this thing. We're going to have a three-car battle. Yeah, let's get a look in on our points situation here. So Hacker in third, he had fallen a couple. He's down 24 points, and yeah, a win will definitely ca uh, catapult him up. Brinkley, I'm not sure where Brinkley is tonight. I don't think he's out here. He's at 15. Okay, there, yeah, you're right. Blaze Brinkley out here in 15th. And then you've got um, Shepard. Shepard was having a good night. He's currently in fifth. So all the top guys doing pretty good here. Eshin and Nichols as well. Colin, you're, you're a little too on the ball here. I don't know. And hey, look, our sixth place car uh, in the points is in second place on the track. So uh, Chris Stump having a night. Yeah, definitely. Chris Stump, five or nine spots he's picked up already. He's got to fight that outside again. It's a chore. There we go. Another great start from Brian Hacker on the outside stump trying to get up there i don't think he's going to be able to do it the 38 ryan johnson on the bottom hitting the curbing could have hurt him three wide dustin shepherd digs it three wide is this going to work beating and banging no he's around unbelievable decision making there shocking shocking development i mean man you, you gotta run <laughs> <laughs> but you don't have to take it. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Let's go have a look. And I'm not saying he did anything wrong in the wreck itself, but you put yourself in this position. Big run. He takes it. Could have backed out here. And that puts a bad positions to the top two. They bang, bang, and the, into him. 
around he goes. And you wouldn't think your car would do that uh, on the bottom, but it did, and he pays the price. Well, you know, they were three wide behind him, too. So. <laughs> I mean, uh, it, three wide at short tracks, people. This ain't going to work. Hasn't yet. I mean, it's an awful feeling when you're driving on the bottom and all of a sudden you're in a sandwich three wide and your spotter is telling you three wide and you're going, what? I'm not, why well, am I three wide? Yeah, it, it barely works at Talladega. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Colin, what do you think about that? Like, you got a big run. You didn't really do anything bad. I mean, he came out of the corner. The other guy was a little slow and he's put there. So now you got a choice. I either got to back out of this thing, or I'm just sticking it in and putting it on everybody else to make their their decisions. You know, it's it's a, it's a little early in the race. I mean, I could see why he would want to go there, but either way, he was probably gonna get one position there because he was already right up behind the dude that was in that was in um in third. So he was gonna he was gonna gain a position on the guy that was on the outside, but um but yeah, he had the power down and he just he took the chance. I mean, that, that it, for me I would have I would have backed out of it a little bit. It's a little early. Um and uh, given room here isn't isn't the the best thing because it's, you know, a small track. So, um but I mean, it was it was a it was a good it was a good attempt. I I, I will say I'm I, the fact that he even tried it, I was I was pretty shocked. Well, I'll say this too, like from the booth you know, uh, as me and Baron do all the time, we talk a good game. You get down in the car, these split-second decisions, Baron, they're not easy. Never is. Uh, never is. Racecraft is, uh, is you know, life lessons learned on the track around your other competitors. And uh, sometimes, you know, lap 47 or 125, yeah, you might just, you know, maybe pause that three wide. And we've gone single file, folks. We want to get some green flag races in. So single file restart. Everybody's up there. It looks like Ryan Joyner having a little computer issue there, but he's going to be all right as he makes a move down on the bottom. Wow. And he really rolled the center well there. So, so I like the decision from race admin here to get him, uh, get him straightened out here. Uh, this... Uh, it's one of those uh, situations where if, uh, if we can't get him trusted to go too wide, uh, we might as well put him single file and see what they can pull off that way. Yeah, absolutely here. A little single file action. Brian Hacker out here leading stump. Joiner in third, Johnson fourth, Eschen in fifth. It's Rigsby, Nichols, Alexander, Nelms, and Philip Martin, your top 10. Here goes the 69 and Nichols. Nichols, a race winner, a couple of them this year, I think. And uh, he's out here in that 69. I, you know, I was going to go to you, Colin, but no, I know Baron likes the 69 action. It's the best number on the track. Agreed. Wow. Shout out from Colin. <laughs> <laughs> well, who doesn't like a good 69? <laughs> but uh, this, is, this is a time where all the people that were saving their tires are pushing it now. There's no reason not to. Uh, they have another set of tires. Uh, you're going to see a lot of, a lot more dive bombs here and more runs off the corner, just like I'm saying, the 23 is going to go to the inside right here. Really great move coming off of the corner. Um, yeah, that yeah, was almost a little. dive bomb, wasn't it, Cole? Yes, absolutely. That's, that's, the best way to, that's the best way to pass here, dive bomb. Oh, and he's cleaned oh. out. There's your dive bomb sent to the wall. So Ashen cleaned out. Hmm. He's green. We stay under green flag conditions. Wow. Apparently, they don't like to be passed. Well, it, some people get really offended, especially if you're, you know, you don't know each other. And that's what I find about uh, some leagues, or especially early on. You got 30 guys out here. Not everybody knows everybody. And maybe the same level of respect not given, parent, and a lot of it just speculation from the booth as well. Oh, and contact with our leaders. Joiner gets into Hacker, gets him a little wobbly. Hacker down, going to take a shallow entry. Here comes the 57 again. Contact, oh. and he's taking him out, folks. Goodbye, Brian Hacker. <laughs> he just flat out took him out. <laughs> he just took the leader out and kept driving. <laughs> wow. No lift, no nothing, folks. 
I mean, I you know, I always say, like, we speculating up here, but that was pretty clean cut as far as I could tell. Just, there wasn't any lube involved. No lube at all. That's dry. Ow. You know who benefits from this? Blaze, because now both of his championship contenders both just got in a wreck. <laughs> Ryan Johnson, if he doesn't get a pet, or not Ryan Johnson, hold on. Ryan, Ryan Joyner. Joyner. Ryan Joyner is a beneficiary if he doesn't get penalized. Watch this. Contact. And that's a secondary contact. I'm going to go back here. Yeah, he hit him in the, the previous lap, too. Yeah, same corner earlier. Here it is. And he hits him there. And, and the two holds on. Goes up high. Kind of blocks him down the track. But he's just been hit, remind me, you know. And now he tries to get him there, and he does. He just turns him at the start finish line. Unbelievable. <laughs> Pandemonium, Larry. Craziness. <laughs> so it looks like Jiners come into the pits. Blaze Brinkley's in the pits. For the Matt, second time, that's interesting. Matt Cook in. Eastman. Womack, Eschen, Jan Janin's in. Lots of guys hitting pit road here. Kill him? I think he's coming out, or he might be just getting in. Yeah, he's already coming out. Womack's uh, got tires going on. So super interesting here. Pit stops commencing. We're on lap 62, 125, pretty much dead center uh, halfway in this race. Uh, from what I've seen, I mean, I don't think I even need to ask you this, Baron, but uh, what do you think we're going to see going forward? Okay, so, um, look, <laughs> it's uh, lap 62. We're halfway. Um uh, so, let's see what the admin does with the 95. If nothing happens, uh, then we know what we're going to get. Yeah, absolutely. And I want to oh, ask right. something else. Why Why do these guys... Let's get a blimp for you here. As they go around... Hold on. Neck I took it. I said the wrong number. Uh, not the 95. I apologize. It was the 57, and it apparently has been done. So, I, I take it back. All right. Fair enough. We see these guys driving around on the apron once in a while. Is there any benefit to that? Are they faking a pit road entrance? What are they doing out here, Colin? Uh, the only thing I can think of is letting the free pass go. Um, or they're uh, trying to get fuel in the system. That's the only thing I can oh, think you, of. Cause, you know what? Uh, I shouldn't have asked this question. This is my fault. As a commentator, i got to do better. They have a choose rule here, and they're choosing low. They're going yeah. really low. Uh, I do believe, but Stump out front here in the 95, and it's the old one of jo Josh Nelms in second, so a couple of newcomers up front. Yeah, Philip Martin, Randy Nichols back up there again, and uh, Mike Alexander, so uh, yeah, really uh, some new faces up in front of the field. Yeah, awesome to see the changeover, don't like how it happened, but nonetheless, Nichols down on the low side underneath the underneath the Nelms. Nelms got track position in that Wonder Bread machine and he's trying to hold on. He will fit in here. And we got another caution. Yeah, it looks like Hacker might have been involved again. Hmm. I'm not sure about that though, just from a late view there. Let's see, Keeler definitely involved. Can we get a lap or two in there? That was So Keeler in the purple car. And here comes the 89. Bam! Gives him a shot. Bam! He cleans him out. Now that was a checkup after another hit, but uh, I'm going to leave that one alone. Uh, I'm tired of the speculation right now. <laughs> Did I hear uh, that almost sounded like the old Price is Right bump off the bone? Am I just hearing that in my own head? <laughs> Colin, K to wear in, way in here. <laughs> Save a couple old men. I, I, I don't know. 
out in YouTube land. Pretty silent out there this evening. What's going on out there? What do you guys think? Give us some shout outs to your favorite driver. Heck, give us some comments on what you think you're seeing out here. Um, there's a lot going on here tonight. Tempers are a flaring. Well, we had shots fired during the redraw, so I yep. kind of thought uh, this might be going the direction we're going, but uh, I don't know, Colin. You get in these short track races and a couple of wrecks and, and uh, people beating him on your bumper, uh, people checking up in front of you. Tempers start to go pretty hot pretty fast, don't they? Oh, yeah, no doubt. Uh, yeah, not giving enough room, cutting you all, all types of stuff. Yeah, it definitely gets you frustrated. And as soon as something actually happens to you, then it's there's usually some sort of payback within it. So, but yes, no doubt. Well, that that's definitely uh, the case. Payback could be a coming here. This place just reminds me of the madhouse, just on but just on i racing. It's a lot of beating and banging, no doubt. So this is where that choose rule is. You see these guys darting low. They're all choosing low, getting on the bottom side. So again, I do apologize. That's that's bad on me for not recognizing that. They're going so low to choose this low line. They want a clear decision out of people. <laughs> no, this was this was instituted. This was put out to the drivers today yeah. to go that low. So and you know. There's a lot of speculation when you're driving around the middle of the track and you move an inch to the left. Are you really choosing low? There is no choose cone, so. Choose I marker, I think, right? That's yeah. what we're looking for down there, yeah. There are cones at the bottom of the track. Maybe that's how they will do it. So here we go. Stump! up here leading this thing. Nelms has hold, held on to second. Good for him in the 01 machine. Ryan Johnson and Justin Rigsby, your top four. Look for Stump to get out and get a good lead here. Oh, a try of a jump by the 01. He's got to check up. <laughs> and that did not work, but I like the effort. Veteran move by Chris Stump there. Just go ahead and uh, baited him to do what he wanted him to do, and he did him. Yeah, that's going to cost Nelms. He's going to lose several spots because of that. At least two gone. Here comes a 46 of Phil. And we got a wreck on the track. Shocking. Shocking development. I had a hacker again, man. Gosh. Hacker. Hacker's had a rough night out here. Oh, Ready? three wide. Here we go. Down into the corner. Nobody's given. There's just take, take, and from behind, he says, you fools, I'm going to give you a shot just for being three wide. So the three wide didn't do anything wrong. The guy behind the three wide, I don't know, he just didn't like being able to see any track, I think. <laughs> Lions win again? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I got nothing to talk about. Patriots are 0 2. <laughs> the, the Lions, uh, a myriad of different things went wrong, slash poor decisions, slash poor defense. All in all, they still look pretty good on offense, and they, uh, they definitely have a future, but my disappointment is large. No, I agree with I you. Feel, I feel you, Baron. My team's the Cardinals. We're 0 2 2. Yeah, so from the 0-2 crew to the 1-1 one one crew, uh, it's not a not a good start to the season yet. Well, I'll tell Although, you one thing. If I'm 0-2, I'm praying for 0-17 because there are some damn good quarterbacks in this draft. Uh, Goff is one of them, though. Is he, what, he threw his first interception in, what, 380? Oh, I mean, Goff's playing well now, but I'm saying for you guys, I, I would just be hoping for more losses because oh. the college draft coming up, Incredible quarterbacks, and in it will be going top three, top five. And everybody looking for this one kid, Caleb, out of yeah. USC. SC's got a nice one out there, yep. Back to racing, though. Choose time, low, 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 and there goes the wonder kid. Uh, yeah, they're coming to the bottom. They're so just coming Nel to the bottom of the track. Nels is continually going up to second place by choosing the outside. I like it. Shake and bake, baby. 
shake and bake. First you shake, and then you bake. <laughs> uh, reaching deep into our bag of tricks tonight, folks. Running out of material. So the stump, Nelms, Johnson, Scott Austin up here into the top five. How about that? The five machine making an appearance. Gebel, Martin, Rigsby, Hoffler. It's Rodney Hutun is up in here into the almost top ten in the number 47. Huntoon? We'll, we'll get a look in on that name at a later date, but we'll know his driving. He's doing well, up 15 spots. Good to see him up here. Right now, ready to go green flag racing one more time. We'll see if Nelms can hold a little better on the outside. He doesn't jump this time. Allows him to get a decent start. Can he get down in front of Johnson? The answer is no, and you know he just didn't want to. He could have, and now he's under heat. Johnson to the bumper, or to the quarter panel, I should say. Well, we talked about racecraft, and he chose uh, to uh, leave that bottom line. It could have put him and his fellow competitors in a bad spot. I like the decision. He's going to regret it, but I do like the decision. Well, I mean, if the you know if the difference was he gets wrecked, he, he's going to love this decision, but he's going to lose a couple of spots here. I think it was a great decision by him, and I love to see the racecraft. You can't race as other people race. Just lead by example, and the old one doing that here. Yeah, good decision there. And he's out there. Oh, oh, made his own spot there. Kind of cut, pinched off the uh, his competitor. But now he's down. And we got another yellow caution. Another, not, not another one. Another one. Colin? Colin, there's <laughs> Colin? another caution out here. Colin is down. He's trying to see if there's scrap on the track. I think he sees <laughs> debris out there. So we got Justin Moore here in the 87. And that was a weird entry by the 20. And I think he and just exited his car immediately. More having enough. Yeah. Brian Hacker, man, he's just in everything. He definitely does not need to go gamble anywhere on the strip. Nope. Let's just say that. Is that Hacker <laughs> at it again? He just, he got unlucky to have somebody again. Running a clean race, just unlucky. Yeah, it happens sometimes. You're just snake bit, especially in Vegas. Snake eyes up, rolling up once again. You know, the way the guy got out of that car so fast, I thought it was like that fighter jet you guys lost out in the States. Guy ejects from the plane, and they ask social media for help finding the plane. Is that a little concerning to you guys? <laughs> yeah, and somebody's like, oh, they're going to rig an election. You can't even find a war plane. We're good. We're good here. <laughs> Yeah, great point there. I mean, uh, I'm not sure about their technology advancements they speak of. Got to say, if that thing landed in my backyard, I'd have a new warplane. We'd know about it, wouldn't we? No, you, would know, you might know about it in about a year when I start using it. <laughs> <laughs> they just needed to find my iPhone up. They didn't have it. No. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't put the air tag on it. Shocking race here this evening and shocking developments around the world, as we all know. Hard to understand what's happening at times. I want to know what uh, Chris's fuel situation looks like right here. I mean, he's had plenty of cautions to save fuel. I wonder if he can maybe edge it out to the end and salvage this. I mean, you never know if he's been saving. I, you well, know. Great point and great way to salvage a broadcast here, Colin. You, you're, <laughs> you're moving to the top of the list here. The top eight have he's not a, pitted. He's a keeper. He's a definite keeper. There's no doubt. The only question is, is which one of us are going to get booted? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's me. But nonetheless, the top, <laughs> the top eight here, not pitting. Is this an issue or not, Baron? I... I I kind of agree with Colin's assessment. So he raises the point only because, you know, what are we looking at? 40 to go? We know half of them are going to be under caution the way this race is playing out. So, um, you know, <laughs> he yeah. might have plenty of gas. <laughs> well, we moved to single file again. So single file restart here as Stump leads away. A big advantage to, well, everybody that's happy with where they are because it's hard to pass. 
46, Philip Martin trying to put the Wonder Bread machine of Nelms under heat. I got the hiccups. That's another issue. Have another shot. Scott Austin, he's got Rigsby coming underneath. How about Rigsby tonight? Up 11 spots, and he's going to go right on by the five of Austin. Clean pass of the five machines of Rigsby. Uh, we talked about Rigsby last week, too. He had, a, he had a decent run last week. I think a late race incident took him out. Um, but uh, showing some speed here uh, through the midpoint of this season. Blaze yeah. is slowly creeping up to the field. Blaze the Brinkley him. here in the 77 has moved up to eighth place. Now it's been a while since he's been up in the top 10. And watch out, he's dangerous in a good way. I mean, he's just a heck of a race car driver. Stump still leading, Johnson chasing, Nichols in third. So we got winners in our, our top or second and third, and we got Chris Stump leading this thing. Nelms fourth, Philip Martin having a great race in fifth right now. He's up 15 spots. Hey, Colin, mm -hmm. what's the number of the car in third place? 69. That's my guy right there. <laughs> We're getting something here. We might, we might, we might. <laughs> you know, there's no sponsorship to be had, guys. They're not going to send you two girls. Not that you need but, to. But a, but, a man, but a man can hope. But a man you, can hope. You work on your own dime, man. <laughs> <laughs> so Austin fell in line here, and he's looking good now. He settled that machine down. Brinkley right behind him. And, whoa, he's almost a part of him there. Brinkley trying to get a run off the corner. Gets a nose down low. So Blaze Brinkley going to edge out another spot. My goodness, a 77 on the move. He's, yeah. got, he's got fresher tires. It's going to be one of those things that just catching him at the right time. Yeah, he's making it look easy down there, isn't he? And here comes Dustin Shepard doing the exact same things. The five machine hemorrhaging spots right now, but it's all uh, fresh rubber. Yeah, absolutely. He's struggling out there a little bit, but like you said, the fresh rubber coming to the front. Is it too little, too late? We're on lap 98 to 125. Chris Stump out here leading this thing. Ryan Johnson chasing. Can't quite get to the bumper. I'm not sure if he would turn him or not, but from what we've seen, it's a possibility here. Yeah, I think fuel is thrown out of the window at this point. They're just running it now. I don't think fuel's even a worry for him. It, it's just Ryan's got to run him down, and he's got to put in some good laps to get back to his back bumper. All right, because we love the 69 so much, gentlemen. Yeah. Colin, let's have a little on board with Randy Nichols here. Why don't you walk us through a little bit of what you're seeing here? Uh, yeah, this is this is honestly really good. Um, Randy is obviously very smooth with the car. You can tell he's not sliding the tires. He's getting the power down off the corner. Um, he's getting as low as he can. He's just running his line right now. He knows that he, he cannot pass both of these guys in front of him. He's going to have to wait for them to get to each other before he can even look for a pass. But what Randy's doing right here is great. Uh, he might be saving a little bit, and we got to caution. flag on the track. Gary Eschen involved, and he is already on pit road. So, we'll, we'll, that's a great assessment, and we'll get uh, Baron's take, perhaps, if we get more than a couple of green flag laps. The 23 down here on the bottom, underneath the 76, off the corner, all looks okay, and then, bam, he's just, he's just turned on the straightaway. So, that is not uh, a great feeling from the 23. Mm-mm. -uh. Got a, nope. got a little tickled on the outside there, uh, Baron. Do you, do you ever allow that to happen to yourself? Uh, every opportunity I can. <laughs> yep. <laughs> every <laughs> single one. <laughs> All right. So late in this race, 22 laps to go on pit road. You got Jan Jannon. Now he's a lap down, I believe. But he is uh, currently getting service. Nobody else really coming in. Nobody willing to sacrifice these spots. And, you know, when you got 25 guys on the lead lap, Aaron, uh, it's hard to come into pit road, isn't it? It is. You, you, you really bleed off that track position so much. And we've seen passing be so difficult here. And that's another reason we've seen a lot of these cautions. These guys growing frustrated with each other. They're, they're taking opportunities they shouldn't or can't. Um, you know, based on what the machine has given them. So we're getting a lot of yellows, but it, it's it's a product of the track and the, and the platform they're running. These late models really, really need uh, throttle 
and they really need throttle input. And uh, if you release that throttle for any bit, well, your competitor behind you shows up uh, in a hurry. So, uh, uh, yeah, uh, I think, uh, you know, we've, we've got a situation on our hands and it, it'll sort itself out, but uh, we're going to need a little help. Yeah, these right. cars are definitely momentum seekers. Uh, so, yeah, well, keep I was going to ask you, Colin, like looking at the 95, you know, giving Chris Stump his love here. He's been out here leading. He worked his way to the front. And now he's going to choose the bottom as we look in on the choose. But, you know, what's he got to do here? I mean, is it status quo? Is the pressure going to get to him? Johnson's been applying a little bit of pressure, not a whole lot. What do you do when you're out front like this? Well, Chris is in a good position right now, especially since he gets to control the restarts. He needs to get a good jump off the corner. Um, with the single file, it's a little bit harder to do, but with this double file and it going back to double file, it's perfect. He's going to get a good jump, so he does not have to worry about um, being caught right off the start. Um, but after that, they, he has, they have to catch him, and then um, and he's holding his line really well, and it seems like he's not losing much time uh, – to anybody else in the field. So all he's got to do is just maintain from here on out. I think he'll, he'll might, he might edge it out. How about Nelms? Back in second. Keeps being the first guy to choose the outside. I love it for him. The 31 of Rigsby also hops up there and Austin as well. But Nelms, man, he keeps getting this track position. One of these times it's going to pay off and, and currently in second position. But it's Stump out front. And we're about ready to go green flag racing in the high stakes 150. Nice jump up this 95. Great <laughs> job. How about Nelms trying to get in there? Can't quite. It's Ryan Johnson one more time getting underneath him. Johnson just too good on the bottom. Here comes Nichols. In this battling, all it doing, all it's doing is helping Chris right now. He's just going to keep building that gap. So. Yeah, and, and, you know, if we keep getting cautions every four laps, he's going to win this thing just on that alone. Mm -hmm. 46, a little loose. That's a spot. Nelms could have hopped in. Could, can't, and he's getting turned by the 31. He hangs on to it. So the 31 at Rigsby got into him a little bit. Great racecraft from the 01 again. So we've seen a couple of what we call racecraft moves out of him. They so like all that, but is down to seventh place. Stump up here leading with Johnson, Nichols, and Martin chasing. Don't forget about Brinkley. Brinkley now in fifth. 14 laps to go, and we've seen in our LCQ, it is not a lot of time, folks. They've got to make their move and make it now. Ryan Johnson's really pushing right here at this point. There's there's no reason not to. He's got to get to that back bumper. Um, all he's got to, yeah, he's got to start diving these corners a little bit deeper, trying to slam that throttle as soon as he can. He's got to get to that back bumper right here. Baron, we look in on Ryan Johnson here. Is he doing all he can? I'm sure he is. I mean, the kitchen sink is being thrown at it now with 12 to go. Uh, you know, you're messing with brake bias. You're messing with uh, brake pressures right now. You're doing anything you can just to get that extra tenth because uh, getting there is one thing. Passing them is another. Well, he's there, folks. He is there. And you see, maybe in the center there, he's just a hair better. But can he get that drive off? We get back to our full track. Ryan Johnson continuing to chase Chris Stump. Ten laps remaining. That's where he needs to be catching him is through the center. Because then he can cut low and dive bomb him on the inside on one of these corners. I can see it happening in turn three eventually. He's just got to stay clean and not run into his back bumper. It looks like the 95's got some real decent drive off, though, and and that's where the 38's struggling. He gets through the center good, but it's almost like he's checking up because the 95's getting such a launch. He might be also just getting tight off right there, so. Yeah, could be, too. We talk about aero, and we don't think about aero in a short track with a late model, but uh, it matters, you know. Well, I've just noticed he moved up the track a little bit last couple laps, trying to arc it a little bit more, and he's getting a better runoff now. But it might be too little too late. He dives down, takes a peek, nothing there. Door closed. Yeah, so the 95 playing a little defense now. Didn't hurt he, him much, though. He is all over it now. He's found something. Peeks to the inside. Is he there? Is that enough? He is. Ryan Johnson making a move for the race win here. Stump going to fall. Now we got Nichols to the bumper of Ryan Johnson, your new race leader. Oh, hang on to it. 
Nope. Stump got the... up under the wall. He's going to hang into it, onto it. Brinkley now up to fourth, and he's in this mess. We got four laps to go. Johnson leading. Nichols second. Stump and Brinkley. Here comes Brinkley making a move. Big points night for him as he's going to get by Stump. Yeah, I think Stump's car is damaged from that hit. Well, I know his feelings are definitely damaged. I mean, it's hard to recover after losing the lead and touching the wall. He's done it. He's in fourth place. Ryan Johnson late in this race, taking the lead. Two more laps to take the victory. And Randy oh. Nichols, oh, off the wall also. Big hit there. Yeah, they both drove out of that corner hard. And Nichols getting the worst of it. White flag comes out to 38. Down through one and two. He's got one more corner to navigate. Blaze Brinkley trying to challenge for second. I don't think he can get there. It's going to be Ryan Johnson, your race winner in the high stakes 150. Stump and Rigsby and Martin. You got Austin, Shepard, Hoffler, and Hootoon is going to be in your top 10. Huntoon. I'm tuned up 16 spots to get there in the 47 machine, too. Great job. Great Excellent finish. job. So Ryan Johnson, how about it, Colin? Getting it done there late when it didn't look like he really had something. And with about 10 to go, you're like, wait a minute. He's got another little gear here. Yeah, he caught him quick. I was surprised before and the run before that. He really wasn't there. He might have just been managing that gap. He knew that he had tires left, so and he was just waiting for the right time. And I mean, he timed it perfectly. That was great. And he's going to take a little backwards victory lap here. I and love so, it. There was some guys sitting there waiting for a pitcher. He says, wait, you can wait a little longer. I got some celebrating to do. I love it. I love it. I mean, showing the talent here. Clean, backwards lap, good angle, good arc. That ain't easy, folks. If you've never tried it, that's not easy at all. <laughs> He's better at getting around backwards than I am forwards. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Exciting finish here in the high stakes 150 from Las Vegas, the bull ring. What a race, folks. Right now, take a short commercial break, come back. We'll get some race interviews here with our top three finishers. here to Vegas in the bull ring where Ryan Johnson is still smoking out the crowd. He might be causing a bit of a biohazard out there. Yeah, but if you won, you got to burn them down. Uh, look, we ain't paying for these tires. So let's cook them off the rims and put on a show. Absolutely. He's loving it, man. The excitement. And that's what you like to see out of these drivers is good old-fashioned excitement here let's take a quick look in on the points here you see where ryan johnson was at he was in seventh so this is going to be a big move for him stump was in six he had a good night nichols a, a great night and brinkley a night but hacker and uh, i didn't see where eschen finished a uh, rough night for, they were like 19th and 20th. And you got Shepard, who had some uh, late problems, but managed to finish 8th. So a lot of these guys, uh, kind of status quo, but the, you know, the big mover, I guess, is going to be Ryan Johnson coming from 7th on up. Yeah, great, great drive, great night for Ryan. Uh, got a win when he needed it, Dean. Absolutely, he did. Let's go and see if we can 
get a hold of a couple of our drivers here and get a interview. I think we got uh, Mr. Blades Brinkley in the house tonight. And he's finishing in third place in that beautiful number 77, your points leader, Blades Brinkley. How are you doing tonight, sir? Congrats on third place. Thank you. I'm doing all right. We'll talk a little bit about your race there. It was no easy feat here to come up and grab this third place, was it? No, but I'll tell you the hardest thing was keeping that last 4X in the bank. I was very worried from about lap 50. So we ran over half the race with one 4X left. Wow, so early trouble put you in jeopardy. There is a limit on how many incident points that people at home don't know. A, a standard crash is going to give you four incident points, a very light incident, and give you two. So you can only get so many. So you were living on life on the edge there. Did it affect how you were driving out there, Blaze? Um, I had to be more cautious. Anytime someone kind of got into each other, that's kind of why you seen me like dart. Either way to the bottom or way to the top, because I was just trying to get way away from anything that did happen. All right, Colin, I'm going to shoot it to you for me. You got any questions for Mr. Blaze Brinkley, points leader? Uh, what type of um, momentum are you going to carry from this? Like, what are we going to next week? What are we at next week? Well, we're going to have to look at the schedule. We're down at five flags five next flags. week. Five how flags. You feel, how you feel about five flags next week? Uh, it's an all-around racetrack. Usually, just about anyone can be quick there. It's just kind of depending on how the circumstances go. Qualifying is really going to be a big thing there, how you play the invert. So, we'll, well see. Blaze, man, we got a lot of faith in you, man. You're showing well in every race here. And even when it gets a little chippy out there, you can see, you know, you're, you're using your racecraft and using your brain to avoid some of this carnage and survive in these races. You're in the championship spot right now. And uh, we think, you know, you obviously got to be a favorite to win this thing. So good luck going forward. And congrats on a third place finish, man. You want to shout out to any sponsors, any friends? You go right ahead. Yeah, Triangle Esports Academy. They really helped me out a lot in my racing. So big thank you to them and EJR Raps for keeping me looking good. All right. That's going to be Blaze Brinkley here with a third place finish and a great race. Baron, that was third. Yeah, third place for uh, Blaze, our points leader. But uh, my favorite drivers in yours, number 69 in your program, but number one in your hearts. I'm bringing you <laughs> Randy Nichols here, second place finisher. Randy, talk about your night, buddy. Oh, man, it's uh, it was pretty up and down. I, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Starting all the way at 16th, I was like, man, this is not going to be good. I'm going to have the hardest time trying to get to the front because – I mean, it's you got to run the bottom here, and if you're on that side, you're just going to get passed. But um, there's a couple times uh, that I was not paying attention and did not know when we were coming to the choose cone, and it moved me up pretty far. Then went all the way back to the back. I actually spun out. Uh, I think it was the 11, which I felt I felt bad for that, but I don't know how I made it back to the front. Honestly, that was that was insane. <laughs> so, patience, patience and talent is what we saw on our end. Talked about the uh, wreck avoidance. Uh, you didn't get yourself hung up in too many incidents tonight. Uh, it was pretty dodgy out there. Yeah. Thank God I avoided the mayhem that was going on tonight. Um, I know there's a lot of, a lot of upset guys racing tonight and, uh, you know, some, some it's justified. Some, I think, uh, they just can't handle, um, the heat in this league. Honestly, Ooh. So, um, I mean, it happens. I mean, you get guys that come in here thinking that they're going to set the world on fire and then uh, get humbled pretty quickly. So, Well, you've got a section on your chat room called Monday Night Fights. So hopefully they're up there warring right now, get it out of their system so we can go back to five flags next week, maybe cooler heads of prevail. How do you feel? Um, it was a big night for you in points. It was a big night on the podium. Uh, what do you got for five flags next week? Um, I, I really enjoy that track. I've, uh, I've run one snowball derby there. Um, I think it was maybe like two years ago. I think I ran it. So I love it. I know that was super late, but I think with the, uh, with the slate model stock, it's, it's a lot of fun. I mean, these things get really racy. Um, and I mean, you guys see it's the, the, the fight for the top 10 is always extremely close. So I think, uh, with five flags, it's going to be that much harder because it's such a uh, momentum based track. I'm um, carrying a lot of speed there, so it's going to be hard to make some passes. you got to be on your game. 
racing Randy. with the heavyweights now there, Randy. Hey, uh, inquiring minds want to know, Randy, uh, were you a Hulk Hogan fan or an Andre the Giant fan? Uh, definitely more Hulk Hogan than Andre the Giant, but then uh, Macho Man over Hulk Hogan. Oh, yes. yeah. Wow, that one's special. Hey, yeah. Randy, one quick, quick question. Yep. Closer is it on uh, fuel right there towards the end? Oh, what was that? How close was it on fuel right there at the end? Uh, I'm sitting at uh, estimated 121.3 laps remaining. <laughs> really? That's oh, a dude, lot this, of yellows. <laughs> this was a very fuel efficient race. Wow, that was shocking. <laughs> I thought it'd be a little bit closer than that. Okay. No, I mean we're I think we're full of fuel to start these races, and I mean I was rolling under in second gear under the cautions to try to burn something off, and I mean. When you have, I don't know how many caution laps we ran, but I mean, it felt like half the race was under caution. It was, it was getting ridiculous, but um, so I think it, yeah, I think it helped out though, because I mean, this car turns a lot better when it's fully fueled up. So it was the exact opposite of what I said. I said they're saving fuel. They were doing the well, exact welcome opposite. Welcome to the booth, Colin. <laughs> no. <laughs> we're, we're, no. About, we're about 90% wrong up here, so you fit right in. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's it's okay. I mean, like I said, I mean, when half the races run under caution, you know, X, I, I don't know how many laps it was like five or six under caution. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. you're gonna save fuel regardless. I mean, if you really want to burn off and get really close on fuel, you'd have to be in first gear, but it, then you run the risk of blowing the motor. So. Yeah. Well, congratulations on a hard-fought second place. Randy Nichols in the 69 machine. Snap into a Slim Jim, buddy. We'll see you next week. Oh, yeah! <laughs> That's oh, my guy right there, right there. All right, moving right along. We've got our race winner. It's Tiny Horse Johnson, the number 38 in victory lane. Congratulations, Ryan. Hey, start playing the John Cena theme song or something since y'all were talking about wrestling. Oh, boy. See, we're old school here. I mean, I don't even know. I don't know if we I, could do that. I, to be honest, I, I haven't watched a whole lot of wrestling. It's been a long time since I did. I used to like like Goldberg, Stone Cold. I was about to say Stone Cold. That's what we needed whenever you entered. The glass shattering? I was perfect. <laughs> oh, you knew business was about to pick up. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, I guys? This. We're bringing wrestling in. It looked like there was some wrestling going on on the track. A few body slams, a few leg sweeps out there. How? What were you thinking, Ryan? And were you involved in any of this, or did you manage to avoid all the carnage tonight? I wish I could say I did, but uh, real quick, I want to say sorry to Gary. I uh, I hooked him. I did the exact same thing that happened to him last week, and uh, it kills me. I don't, I don't. We don't race like that, and I just want to apologize. Uh, and then there was another moment. We were a bunch of us were three wide on a restart, and we got a little contact there. But I mean, a little rubbing's racing. It's not a big deal. But yeah, I think we managed to avoid the majority of it. Uh, aside from those, I, I don't, I don't know how. <laughs> was, <laughs> the track is so small. When something happens, we, as soon as the caution comes out, we need to start checking up. And for well, the most I, part, it seems like guys did that. I love it, Ryan, when guys get up here and are a little contrite with uh, the odd mistake that they may make. It uh, certainly makes it easier for the other guy to swallow, and easier for you going forward, I believe. And not that you need any help sitting here in victory lane. You get to the late part of the race, obviously, you're sitting in second, stumps in first. We're getting down there, you know, it's about 15 laps to go, and you're you know, a couple of car lengths back, were you saving something? Were you sizing them up? Looked to me like with about 10 to go, you kind of changed your entry point a little bit and might have helped you. Yeah, I, honestly, I was saving a, just a little bit pretty much the entire race uh, up until like, you know, 15 to go, like you were saying. it. And then it, when, once we got into that window, I realized I was catching him and I was just trying to set him up. I, I started running a little bit higher to see if I could get a run, but I didn't get a run there. And I kind of went back to what I was doing. And it seemed like I was, it was helping me out. And yeah, I, I don't know if he uses his stuff up or what, but he, I mean, he was fast. He put up a fight at first. Uh, it, somehow I, I was able to sneak under him. I had just enough of an exit off a of two to get underneath him. And I mean, he's, I haven't raced with him a ton, but I know he's a respectable guy and he, he wasn't just going to you know, try and drive across my nose and, we had a good race. 
Well, you're starting to make a home up in the booth. Uh, are we going to count on you being a regular here? We had your five flags and a bunch of other races here. Is your expectation to always be up here in the top three, if not in victory lane? Uh, majority of the time in this league, yeah, it, it is. I mean, these, these guys are very, very talented. They're very respectful. Um, it's hard, but yeah, I, I try to count on it. <laughs> I know yeah, there's some well. season, there's one season where I didn't, I don't think finish outside of the podium, but that was, that was just a, I don't know, a one-off. That was kind of insane. I mean, it's my belief, Ryan, that if you don't have the expectations of being up there each and every week, you certainly won't be. So I love it when you have enough confidence to, to expect it from yourself and even demand it from yourself. Clearly, it paid off tonight as you're sitting here with another victory in victory lane. I love it, Ryan. Uh, looking forward to seeing you the rest of the season. And big points night for you. You're going to move up a little closer to this chase. Uh, grab a few points on blaze and uh, you're challenging for this championship so congrats again anybody you want to thank any sponsors you want to shout out brother uh yeah all the admins in this league uh a race control i know he's had a, a hell of a season so far uh all you guys for broadcasting coming on this season uh, i love watching the broadcasts um all the guys that make this league a lot of fun uh dcd for my paint uh tiny horse racing um my teammates, uh, NSRL After Dark. Um, yeah, man, just everyone tuning in, watching, my family, friends, letting me, uh, well, letting me do this and supporting me for being right, a right, girlfriend, right. like I mentioned. And if I got a suggestion for you, Ryan, uh, I think you should start a website with some tiny horses and uh, start <laughs> selling those things. I want my own little tiny horse here. <laughs> yeah, I got one on my real race car. I'll, uh, I'll have to find out where I got it and send you one. <laughs> All right, beautiful. All right, look forward to seeing you next week. Baron, wrapping it up from here. Ryan Johnson, victory lane. He looked good tonight. Congratulations, Ryan. Big win, big opportunity there for him to uh, advance in the points battle. So, uh, you yeah, know, I got what I wanted tonight, Dean. A little bit of uh, – Drama, a little bit of action. Uh, we got Monday Night Fights going on in another uh, chat room right now. Good stuff here from the yeah. North-South Racing League. You know when they come in talking about wrestlers calling that uh, there was kind of a war out there tonight. And yeah, they're feeling like it. they've been in the it spirit like, circle. It was the Royal Rumble tonight. That's what it was. <laughs> it's a little bit of that. We look forward to uh, getting back in the ring, if you will, next Monday, 9 p.m. It's the North South Racing League each and every Monday night. So for myself, Dean Set, for Mr. Baron Labosco and Colin J. Kennedy, excellent job in the booth tonight. Loved having them here. That'll wrap it up from the bull ring, and we'll see you right here next.